My name is Monica Ross. I am Director of Manatee Research and Conservation at Clearwater Marine Aquarium Research Institute. So today was a wonderful day because Churro and her mom, Reckless, were released here down in Port Everglades. Mom had unfortunately had received a really severe boat strike and it was not looking good. She went to SeaWorld of Florida and she went with her calf, which was only about 100 pounds. So today, it was an opportunity for us to actually tag both animals and to get a better understanding of how manatees are using habitat within Florida after the unusual mortality event, which took so many manatee lives due to starvation, as well as to see how they're gonna use the habitat outside of Florida as well. And our hope is that mom will stick with Cav for at least a couple months to show Cav where to migrate to. But this is the time of the age that the Cav is right now that they will usually separate from mom. So by having a tag on Churro, we can get an idea of how she is actually gonna do with or without mom. My name is Amanda Matthew. I'm with Clearwater Marine Aquarium Research Institute and I'm a research assistant. The gear that we use to tag manatees is designed to be as non-invasive and to fit comfortably on the manatee while not affecting the manatee's behavior. We take other measurements as well so we can track their size and their weight loss or growth over time. And we also take a lot of photos of them so that if we see them in the future, we can identify them. The cool part about the gear that we put on these animals is it has GPS capability. So we are actually getting locations every couple hours on where the animals are going and it's going to update every 15 minutes so we can get a nice cool little track of where the animals have been traveling. And we can determine from all that where are they feeding, where are they resting, and where are they actually traveling to get to the next location. Shortest route is really important for manatees. We're very fortunate that Whale Beans has been able to help sponsor the tagging of Reckless and Churro and helping us get the vital information we need for our research. Once the photographs and measurements are done, we will begin putting the tagging gear on the manatee. We'll start by putting the belt around the manatee's peduncle and securing it. And then we will add the tether, which is the four foot long connection from the belt to the tag. The tag will float at the surface. We've been able to give many manatees another chance through tagging them. And sometimes in a lot of cases, the tag is their lifeline. It's very exciting to see Reckless and Churro return to the wild and to also know that we'll be able to monitor them and track them. So by having really good information on how manatees are using habitat, it can actually be used to help further protect them. For instance, if there's an area where manatees are actually being hit by boats or ship strikes, by knowing which travel areas that they're using, people can be more aware and slow down in those areas. If any animal starts to have any kind of issues, then we will work with our partners in the Manatee Rehabilitation Partnership to be able to actually go out and do a health assessment on the animal, or if it needs to be brought back into a critical care facility for extra care, everybody's here to help the animals. So by having them tagged, we're able to real time see when the animal might actually need help. It is essential for their survival sometimes to have these tags on. So the water we love to play in, that's where manatees have to live and survive. So be very cautious, be aware that manatees are potentially swimming underneath you and slow down in those areas that are indicated as idle zones, slow zones, keep a really good eye out. And if you see anything, see any animals you're concerned about, please call it in as soon as possible to FWC hotline number. So the biggest thing for everybody to really keep in mind is try and keep our environment as healthy as possible. That is how you can help manatees.